Hi everyone, I wanted to make you a quick video to walk you through how I'm using Tana to help me plan for some YouTube videos that I've been working on. And what you'll see is this is an upcoming date, so this Friday the 21st of October, and I have just page mentioned, um, and I'm using page mentioned because I'm an Obsidian user typically, but I'm, I'm referencing the node that I have created for this specific video. And the way I call that up is I just hit the at sign and I can search for the name of it, but I've already added it here. And what you can see is it's tagged with a tag called project. It's a super tag I created called project. And that has specific elements inside of it, like a status area, links to my dev and think in my OneDrive, things like that. Um, but what occurred to me is I could also create a tag called YouTube, and then I could have YouTube specific fields. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that node and add that tag so you can see the additional fields that are added. So this is pretty cool. I just go into the name of the node, command K and add a tag. And then I'm going to add YouTube. So you'll see when I do that, a bunch more fields appear. And these are fields that are just part of the YouTube tag. So some of these things are standard that I'm saying in each of the videos to try to have some consistency with my videos. Some start off with like a prompt and then I finish off what it's going to be, like what I'm going to walk th someone through in terms of the steps of the video. Um, and then I just fill in these different pieces of information for the subtopics and engagement question. I even add information like timestamps and the chapters for the YouTube team to put that together. Um, and then any links that I mentioned in the video that I want to make sure to include in the show notes, I put that there. Now, before I created this YouTube tag, I was including the information that Jamar, who's what, that's who I'm working with, shout out to Jamar Diggs, he's fantastic for YouTube team management. Instead of putting it here, I'm actually going to add this up here to the prompt from the YouTube team. And I'm just going to put this here because that makes it so I can add the information from him. And it's nicely organized inside of this information here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this here. Now, so this, this is great, right? Like I really enjoy just having these templated fields there by default. I love that some of the standard stuff is here, but one of the really cool things that I figured out how to do is that I have my sidebar where I've created some different areas and I just did that by going to my name and then adding different things that I wanted to have and creating search nodes underneath each one of those. But if I go to areas and I go to YouTube, You'll see it looks pretty basic, but I have three search nodes that I've set up already. So I have YouTube statuses and timestamps. So I have information about the two YouTube videos I've worked on so far that I've used Tana for. The date is the date that I submit it to the YouTube team. So I'll, I'll eventually make that more descriptive. The status is just that I've submitted it. Later I can change it to I need to review it or I have some things to do to edit it. The information I'm putting about timestamps, note for those of you that are like, but there's no timestamps. That's because I record each one of the different chapters separately. So I don't have to worry about talking for a long amount of time and not messing up. So I just do a bunch of videos that makes it easier for me. So that's the first search. The second search, video topics, this I thought was kind of cool. I could show myself really quickly, well, what were the topics? And then there's information within each of these topics if I've added information. And then finally, video details. And I'll just go back here, but I can expand it just by clicking on it. Um, and I can see, you know, the hook, the introduction, the transformation, all the different topics and content. Um, and I just think that this is going to be a wonderful, really powerful resource to help me see over time what I'm talking about, the different subtopics in particular. I know that when I was teaching classes that were similar, sometimes I had a tendency to repeat myself despite best laid plans and lesson plans to help me not do that. So I think being able to see the subtopics I'm addressing in each of the videos over time is going to be super useful. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and please feel free and let me know if you like it or not or want to see other things about Tana by commenting down below. Thanks.